Hello, in this video, we're going to find the average value of the function f of t equals t times the square root of one plus t squared over the interval zero, five. Let's go ahead and carefully work through it. Solution. We'll start by writing down the definition of the average value of a function. So the average value of a function, f sub a, b, v, e, so f average or average value of a function, is equal to one over b minus a times the definite integral from a to b of f of x with respect to x. So in this problem, we don't have x, we have t, but that's okay. This is our a and this is our b. And this is going to be our f of x. So we're just gonna change the t's to x's. So this is equal to, so b is five and a is zero. So it's one over five minus zero. And we're going from a to b, so zero to five. And again, instead of uh, t, we're gonna use x. So it'll be x square root one plus x squared dx. You can also use t, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's no big deal. It's just the formula usually has an x in it. I'm gonna go ahead and just subtract these numbers just to clean it up. So the average value of a function is equal to one over five, definite integral from zero to five. Then here we have x square root one plus x squared dx. Okay, so now we're going to make a substitution uh, in order to do this problem. And the reason we're going to do that is because this is just not a familiar formula. So we're gonna let u be the inside piece, the piece inside the square root. So u is equal to one plus x squared. My pencil is going a little bit dull here, so I'm gonna take a three and a half second break to sharpen it. <laughs> now we'll compute du, which is the derivative. So basically you just take the derivative of both sides here, so du, is equal to, well, the derivative of one is zero, and then for x squared, you use the power rule. So you bring down the two, and then you subtract one from the exponent, so you get x to the one, and then dx. Now you want to look here, and you want to make this look like what's in your integral. You notice that there's a two here, and there's not a two in your integral. So what you'll do is, we'll just divide both sides by two to make this look like what's over here. So this becomes one half du equals x dx. And so now the x and the dx are gonna get replaced by one half du. However, we're not done, right? This is a definite integral in particular that means that it has limits of integration. So we should change them because these are x limits and we're turning everything into u limits, right? Everything is turning into u. We're doing a change of variables, right? We're going from the x variable to the u variable. So that means that the limits should be u limits. To do that, basically let's spell it out. So when x is zero, what is the corresponding value of u? So we simply look here at our equation where we defined u and we plug in the value of zero for x. So u is equal to one plus zero squared, so u is equal to one. Likewise, when x is five, that's our upper limit of integration in our definite integral, u is going to be one plus five squared, so u is equal to 26. Okay, so there's our other u limit. Continuing this way, we have the average value of a function is equal to, let's see, so x dx, we said that was one half du. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out that one half. It's usually good practice to pull out constants. So, so far the only thing that's been replaced is the x and the dx, and that's with one half and with du. And we're left with the square root of this, but this inside piece is u. So this is the square root of u. When x is zero, we said u was one. When x is five, we said u was 26, boom. So the average value of a function, five times two is 10, so we get one tenth. Let's rewrite this in a convenient way so we can integrate it. So we know that the square root of u can be written as u to the one half, du, and then we still have our limits going from one to 26. So the average value of our function is equal to one tenth. Now we can integrate this pretty easily, right? We just take this number and we add one to it, right? So um, one half plus one is three halves. So it's u to the three halves. And then the power rule says we divide by that. Now, you can get in the habit of multiplying by the reciprocal, but I thought, let me just show all the steps this time. So you add one to it, one half plus one is three halves, and then you divide by the result every time, right? We're going from one to 26. This is equal to, so when you divide by three halves, you multiply by the reciprocal. So it's one tenth times two thirds, u to the three halves, 
1 to 26. I love the sound pencils make. This is the average value of a function that's equal to, boom, this is the 5, so you get 1 15th. Yeah, 5 times 3 is 15, it looks okay. u to the 3 halves. And we're going from 1 to 26. As always, you plug in the top number first, right? So the average value of our function is 1 15th. Parentheses, plug in the 26, so you get 26 to the 3 halves minus 1 to the 3 halves. 1 to the 3 halves is 1, so we have the average value of our function is equal to 1 15th. 26 to the 3 halves minus 1. Boom! That is the average value of our function in this problem. Super awesome. Um, beautiful mathematics, right? So great example, I think. Um, that's why I wanted to make this video because maybe there's someone out there in the world who uh, is, is trying to learn. So yeah, as always, keep doing mathematics.